Lapid struggles, so she stands up. Before I can ask her anything, she abruptly shakes me off and runs out of the classroom. Wait! I try to chase after her, but after only a few steps, I uh, trip over my own feet. Information overlords are preventing me from making any <coughs> sudden movements. I fight through it, dragging my feet like uh, several times, and the weight of my legs when. Sure Shadow Igus? Excuse me? I stumbled and stopped to look around and reached the to do hidden speaker. I saw suddenly read as the answer to my question and catches my breath in my throat. This Do you braze? What? What will you do after you take her from here? Lock her up in a box again? How cruel. No wonder she ran away. Ran away? What are you You don't mean <laughs> You finally figured it out? Labrys was brought here by some sinister mastermind. She escaped on her own and came here. That can't be. The suspects in the hijacking case... I'm sure you've seen the opponents you fought so far robbed of their sanity. Have you forgotten already? You're saying that was Labrys' doing too? Yes. Her heart gave birth to this world. And that power <coughs> is one of her abilities. From some special equipment. With a power like that, wouldn't it be simple to control the number of ordinary people? It's true that hijackers were confused, that uh, there were signs that there was mental interference. It does seem strange to go to so much trouble to come to a place like this. If she did in fact do this, then she must face herself. <laughs> <laughs> what gives you the right to say that? Sunny, the tone of her voice changed. She speaks very gently, like a parent correcting a you child. Too. It pains you to I love this music. Are we gonna see the Persona 3 like protagonist comes out? I cut myself out realizing what I'm uh, what I'm becoming fascinated with the voice. This isn't good. I can't let the voice deceive me. I must go to speak uh, get a speaker in uh, my sights first. I carefully attune myself to the source of the voice and quickly turns it to that direction. But the person standing there is me. Or rather something that looks like me. At first, I think that's overload is still affecting my sensors, but this is no, not the case. I smile and extend my arm, my hand. I feel dazed. This is very confusing. I don't know what to do. My mind uh, advises caution, but my heart doesn't listen. I, but all of a sudden, a door opens in the corner. What the? Oh, Elizabeth is out. Okay, 
I expected the event brings me back to reality, but I realized that I was nearly seduced by, by its promise. On the second look, I can see a woman be, uh, be on, behind the door frame. The sticker blue dress. I recognize the attire of an elevator girl. Her name was Eliz Elizabeth, I believe. Yeah, because Agnes was the protagonist of the Persona 3D answer, so she knows about Elizabeth. Why is she here? Elizabeth was right, and uh, you know, standing in the center of the room. So, like, so this must mean that Persona 3D answer is canon here. There's nothing otherworldly abnormal uh, about her pose. It's just imposing as a battle stance. She opens her uh, her trick letter bond book, stick letter bond book, smiles dauntlessly at the other me. Excuse me, but I would like a word with this lady over here. Would you mind leaving? Who are you? If you don't leave the two of us, I must resort to giving you a hearty thrashing with my book. It's a hardcover leather bound edition and is quite powerful. Enough to do over four digits on average, I'd say. Four digits on average, I love it. A thousand damage. Uh, which are on the, the pages of the book open flow which light? I don't this. The other me face a fledgling pain and she vanishing into thin air while splitting a curse. Is she gone now? I can no longer pick up any readings on her. The tension leaves my body and I collapse onto the ground. Uh, while I'm here, Elizabeth walked towards me. I first met her two years ago. Her attire somewhat changed, uh, strange, but the place I met her was even stranger. A blue room, only the one way to describe a mysterious place. This residence called the Velvet Room. I don't believe it's all part of the real world. There, Elizabeth, who uh, governs power, she helped me to grow spiritually by introducing me to the power of personas. I never imagined that she would leave her that room, let alone that I could uh, run into her here. Yet her appearance here has saved me. She stared straight at me, then let out a long sigh of disappointment. I'm buffled by her kindness. Have you already forgotten the enlightenment you gained before me once? Has it escaped your prodigious goldfish-like memory? Okay. <sighs> it seems that I must once again ascertain what you are truly capable of. She speaks as if she's engaged in everyday conversation and opens her leather-bound book again. Suddenly, a murderous aura fills the area, freezing, uh, fierce as a gust of wind. Something's about me has uh, disappointed her. I know that much, but I clearly have no time to ask her what it is. Didn't think I guess was gonna fight Elizabeth. The only other Elizabeth fight is which you Narukami. Okay. Jesus. Okay. God, Elizabeth is stronger than I remember, man. That wasn't easy. 
Yeah, I almost lost that one too. Jeez. Elizabeth is uh, pretty strong. Stronger than I remember. Well done. Elizabeth stands from her uh, kneeling position. Though she lost, she did not uh, so much as break her sweat. Well, I, for my part, are det uh, det det detecting strain on my entire uh, drive system. Okay. I can see myself lacking energy to even speak, reflected in Elizabeth's clear eye. and finally shows me her smile. Uh, immediately after, she turns uh, on one heel and walks towards the hallway. I suddenly uh, remember... There are rules to this tournament delineating behavior after a match. Such parlor tricks can get stopped. I shall be on my way. True to her word, she leaves the room with no trouble and closes the door with an aggressive slam. Those walls were nothing to her. Okay, she can just walk right through the wall. So, like, if you eventually play as Elizabeth, does that does this mean if you lose, you can still move on to fight the next one? Because otherwise, it doesn't make any sense now, does it? But come to think of it, Labyrinth didn't seem the separate to those rules either. Do they only appear, only apply to participants in the tournament? No, in Elizabeth's case, it simply does not matter to her. Uh, I find it amusing, allow me to feel more relaxed. It may be true that this world can grant one's true desire, but I want Labrys to see past herself to a world where other people matter, even if one discards their bonds to avoid pain. All that awaits is a numb, desert-like future with no promise. I thought as she did once, so I'm sure I can understand her. I too felt the same labors when I went through the uh, incredible trying ordeal. There's no other to reach to her, she will become even more trapped. As she is now, labors cannot escape on her own. This is because the key is uh, to exchanging oneself the realization that one is not alone. Saying it aloud helps strengthen my resolve. I change my appearance, uh, change my approach, and focus on searching the way to save her. Still, that thing looks like me. Was that not who sounds meant by shadows going berserk? My own shadow. Think of it that that way sends the light, uh, set, uh, sheds some light on things. Of course, I can only control my persona and have uh, some resistance to the effect of this world, but the heart cannot be so easily uh, stabilized. The same thing happened to Labrys. I suddenly realized the danger involved. I patiently su uh, surprised these assaults and dashes out the hallway. Alright, Labrys has a lot more chapters. Is, is it over a 10? So, like, if it's over 11, I would consider it a lot. Follow the path from up by the invisible wall, eventually come the stairway to the third floor, and there seems to be no wall here. Allow me to go as I please. I can uh, tell end is near. I, I prepare myself. So I stand in front of the room. The sign says announcement room. The door is half open. I can send someone inside. I casually press open the door and peek around it. It's an announcement room, the, uh, as the sign indicated, but space inside much larger than the classroom and everything. The equipment here, also closer to the TV uh, studio, that could be found at the school, the top of that. The back wall made of glass, showing the view that it's clearly not the schoolyard. Take, uh, taken together, there's a first uh, distinct sign that this is not a real world. You think? 
Oh my god, Agus is so dumb in this game. As I said, Labyrinth, uh, Labyrinth uh, Agus is so dumb. Labyrinth is here, standing in the middle of the room. There's another boy and the girl as well. The girl is holding uh, Labyrinth's shoulders. The boy is standing in front of the pair, protecting them. Across from them, the General Teddy. It seems at the end of the line. I've seen that bald boys facing the video, Yusuke Hamana, Tamanara, I believe. I'm not familiar with the girl's face. I do recognize her distinctive voice. This is the same voice has been uh, commentating on the fights along with General Teddy on the school PA. From the tone of the communication, I thought she was working with General Teddy. She seemed to be a Yusuke, uh, Yusuke son and Labyrinth side. I recall what Chase told me. Chase said that Rize was originally their friend, in which case she might actually be another victim. General Teddy gives a crude smile, squinting his eyes and speaks. General Teddy's voice and tone have undergone a remarkable change. As in closely the voice is. Uh, so it finally uh, reveals its true form. But the face is the only thing that's the same. The rest of her body is covered in metal. There's no doubt this is a man made. Labyrinth lights out the short scream and backs up. Stop. I'm not like that. Calm down. It's just taking that form to agitate you. Yusuke is uh, frankly trying to calm Labyrinth down. Why isn't Yunaru Kami here? Why is it Yusuke here? Like, is it is it is it is it trying to tell me that in this storyline, like Yusuke actually beat Yunaru Kami? That's what he said, but is really the case? I have my own suspicions. No, 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 no. Taking that form, huh? Well, you have a point. I do have a power to confuse people's senses. War with their seeing. Twist with their hearing. That's how you made my senpai fight each other. Of the things you're seeing right now. Which do you think is real? And which is fake? The former General Teddy, now Labyrinth's shadow, breaks onto a grin. Labyrinth, meanwhile, is crin uh, cringing in fear. She holds onto Yusuke's no. sleeve. I'm not like you. I'm human, aren't I? Huh? What do you mean? I can see that Yusuke does not know how to answer that sudden question. I come to have these special powers? Why? It's because I have them. With that, the shadow snaps his fingers. Now, what statics like um, pro, pro TV turns appears around Labyrinth and slowly envelops her, and he has my vision. Nothing is happening to Labyrinth's body. Was it my own vision that was clouded, or had it been in town now? Soon after, the noise dissipated. The inhuman-looking girl standing in her place. A robot. Metallic arms and legs extended from her uniform. Uh, searching, searching on her back, spread like wings. Uh, just as I thought, her body is identical to that of shadow in front of her. Shadow grins evilly and swings the enormous axe at Labyrinth, or actually at Yusuke. Before the axe can uh, complete his arc, I'm already in action. I must intervene. 
Neither Labyrinth and Shark were seeing her true form, nor Yusuke or Rize were prepared for the attack. What the? Deflect the strike, which is the metallic part of my arm. Aren't all part of your arms, like your whole body, mechanic, like mecha metallic? Whatever. It's heavier than I anticipated. The battle axe is giant uh, leaping uh, metal that blocks most of my vision. Hello? Wait, you're a robot too? I turn my head to Labyrinth, look straight into her shocking you eyes. Must remember, that is the only way the future will open up to you. You must accept it, no matter how painful it may be. I tell her, uh, I tell her name in a clear voice. Her official name, which is included something the human has a model Your number. Your true name is fifth generation anti shadow suppression weapon, Labyrinth. <gasps> Labyrinth uh, curls violently as if an invisible arrow piercing her chest. Alright. How are you only still at 35%? Wait, what? 